All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Also, one last thing we have added a form section to gfxcomet.com. So go ahead and check it out. And uh, let's get this active. You could discuss just about anything in here. It's just a great place for, you know, the community, for everybody to so just. Um, discuss and share things so enjoy the video all right so one of the most important things to creating good looking ui is choosing the right colors um i see a lot of people they are making complex shapes and all that stuff but their ui still seems a little bit off and a lot of that is because of the color choices so there's a lot of websites to help you with that if you go to flat uicolors.com it's a website where it has uh, color palettes for UI so this is very helpful I'm actually I'm scrolling through it right now and I'm going to choose one that I want to use um, let me try this one alright so let me paste this in okay so I have this color palette as you can see I'm just gonna name this color palette alright let's create a sample UI I'm going to make this background sort of, hold on, I'm going to blending options so I can see the change in real time. I'll make this kind of an off-white, something like that. And I'm just going to start off with the rounded rectangle tool. I'm going to go maybe 15. I'm just going to make a shape. Actually, that's way too little. Um, 25. All right. Just gonna make a shape like this. I'm gonna center it now. Let's add some text. I'm gonna make this a bit thinner. All right, let's add some text. This will be hmm. Store. Now let's bring up our color palette right over here. And where's my text? My text is right over here. Okay. I'm going to select this color. Let me see how this looks. Maybe I should try this one instead. Yeah. All right. So here's my store, and for the background, I am not going to do that. I'm going to make the font bolder. I'm gonna use this font. Hmm. Actually, never mind. Let's gonna use this. All right. Let's place the text right up here. And we do some subtext. Purchase anything you want. And let's make this smaller. Just put it right here. Now I'm also going to add a shadow to this one. Just so it stands out a little bit more. 90. And just increase the size. Let's bring this down. 10 10 that should work okay all right so now i'm going to make a categories a little navigation bar thing so let's take store and i'm going to type maybe passes for game passes right and i'm gonna put, put this i'm gonna put this right here and for this i'm going to align it make sure it's aligned Move it down. Not too much though. It's right here should be fine. And let's go to our color palette. And I'm going to make this a lighter color. Not too light. There we go. Seems fine. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to put currency. And for currency, I'm going to add a color. Um, I'm going to use this. Currency. What else? There's passes, there's currency. What else should there be? I don't know, maybe crates. <laughs> you can just put anything you want. Now I'm going to use my rectangle. Now I'm just going to use my rounded rectangle and I'm going to make a little shape like this. Just for a little slider indication kind of thing. 
this right here. Looks good to me. All right, we're gonna use this again. But now we have to, hmm. Okay, so let's make a divider line. Some like that. For the colors, choose this. I think this is nice. Alright. Let's place it right here. Now we are going to bump this up to maybe 20. Let's draw a shape like this. I think 20 is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna do 15 just like that. I'm gonna select this color. Now I'm going to take the coin I made from the uh, previous tutorial, if you haven't watched it, it's on the channel, you can go ahead and watch it, I'm going to scale this down, it's a little too much, it's right around, right around here, I'm going to place it right here, I'm actually going to make this a bit lighter, um, actually I'm going to do something else, I'm going to do something like this and right, I'm gonna add some text now I'm gonna select a color this one seems to be fine hmm actually I'm gonna make this this part smaller so I'm gonna need 12 Put it right here now for this square it's a right thing on me I'm gonna do a little gradient actually I'm gonna use this purple color Turn the hardness down. Just brush along. And now I'm gonna select a different color and I'm also gonna paint along. On a new layer though. On a new layer though. Just like that. So I'm gonna lower these. So we have a nice little transition. Alright, now I'm going to add a purchase button so I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm going to draw a little shape like that I'm gonna make the screen let's see if there's a color here I could use um uh, let me move this down this is uh it's not a bad green a little bit less vibrant there we go I'm gonna take text I'm just gonna copy it over and make this purchase make it white Put it right here all right now I'm gonna take everything so from here yep I'm just gonna duplicate it and for the last bits, I'm going to rasterize it and just have it cut off right over here. With like that, and I could also add kind of a scroll bar. I could also add a scroll bar. I'm going to use this color. And this one. And just duplicate it. Just like this color. But um, you get the basic idea. So, using a color palette, as you can see, it can help you a lot with um with uh, the color choices. There we go. All right, fix the little text alignment thing. I don't really like it. So uh, yeah, there you have it. As you can see, using the proper colors can make or break your UI design. So. If you're making UI for a commission or just for fun or for whatever project you're doing make sure you take your time out and pick the right colors and also keep your colors consistent because um, it just makes it more pleasing to look at and it's just common sense right so if it's helped you make sure you leave a like and I will see you all in the next tutorial or video peace out